Hey, hey guys, let's take a look at probability part two. We did probability part one a couple of days ago. What's the probability that a coin when toss will come up heads? Remember what probability is defined as. It is what you want up here on the fraction, that's the acceptable or good outcomes, divided by how many outcomes possible are there. So we can just look at a coin and go, what's the probability of what's gonna come up heads? Well, there's only one possibility, right? There's one of the sides is a head. The other side is tails, so you have two possibilities. So if you flip a coin, and it's a fair coin, a normal coin, um, not some Twilight Zone coin or, or whatever, uh, cheating coin, it's gonna be one out of two. So 50-50, you're, you're gonna come up heads, right? What's the probability that the coin when tossed twice will come up first heads and then tails? Well, this is the deal, and I'm gonna show this to you, and this is the concept. At some point, somebody went, yeah, how do I figure that out? What are the chances? And somebody will said, well, why don't you just write down all the possibilities when you flip a coin twice? And the guy goes, okay, all right. So it can be either heads or heads. Okay. First heads, then tails. That's not it. It could be tails, then heads. And that's not it. It could be tails, then tails. First heads. That's not it. And oh, there it is. It's head and tail. And that's the only possibilities, right? So the possibility was this one. First heads, then tails. That is one out of four. And at some point they went, wait a minute, I don't want to sit there, I want to find out the answer, but I want to toss the coin 15 times and find out what, you know, and I don't want to have to actually write down all the possibilities of 15 coin tosses all in a row. So at some point they said, wait a minute, there's a, there's a, there's a um, way we can just figure this out. There's a formula. And the formula is this. What you do is you do, uh, what's the probability of the first one coming true or, or a favorable outcome? And then you multiply that by the second one and the favorable outcome, you know, the same probability. And if there's a third one or a fourth one, you just keep multiplying as much as you want. In other words, what's the probability that the coin, if you toss it, will come up heads? Well, you know the answer, right? It's one out of two, right? Okay, so what's the probability that the coin will come up tails? Well, that's also one out of two. So you're just going to multiply those together a half times a half, a quarter. And there you go. That's all there is to it. And if it works for that, it'll work for any number of times or any probabilities or any kind of thing. You just multiply one probability times the other one to find out the total probability. Okay, let's do a couple of these. All right, a fair coin is tossed three times. What's the probability of come up heads every time? Now you could sit here and go, let me see here. Let me look at all the, po a fair, it could be heads and heads and heads. That's what I want. Well, it could also be heads and heads and tails. And it could be heads and tails and tails. Then it could be, oh, you know, just, Ugh. let's find out some probability, all right? Well, first probability to come up heads is one out of two. The second is also one out of two. The third is one out of two. You multiply all those together, it's one chance on top, one times one times one. Two times two times two is eight, that's your probability. One out of eight chances. If you just sit there and go like this, the chances of flipping a head three times in a row are one out of eight. Now we could sit here and draw all the, the eight possibilities with three, you know, three, doing it three times in a row but there's no point in doing that. Okay, if it's tossed four times in a row and it comes up heads each time, what's the probability it'll come up heads the next time? Well, in other words, you've tossed a coin and it come up, came up heads, 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 and heads. Now that's one out of two, that's one out of two, that's one out of two, and that's one out of two. So the probability that you're gonna flip a coin and four times in a row it's gonna be heads is one times one times one times one on top, and two times two, four, eight, 16 is one out of 16 times, okay? The question is not that, however. The question is, what's the probability that it'll come up heads the next time? Well, that has nothing to do with what you just did before. What's the probability of coming up at a heads? One out of two. That has nothing to do with that before. That's all. So there's no trick to this. In fact, I had a, it's funny, like 20 years ago, 25 years ago, I had this discussion with a friend of mine. And he was like, yeah, you know, we have four girls, so, you know, my wife's expecting again. And I said, oh, well, maybe it'll be a boy this time. He's like, no, it probably won't be. The, the odds are that it's not going to be a boy. I'm like, why? He's like, well, we already have four girls. And I was like, that has nothing to do with anything. Well, what in the world? He, that, that has, he said, no, 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 we have four girls, so the odds are a lot greater than you're going to. No, it's one out of two. Don't get me started in gender stuff. That's either male or female. Okay, that's it. Okay, so it's, it was still one out of two. Didn't matter if he had four girls before. He did end up having a boy anyway, so, okay. All right, look on page 356, pause it, and let's try these, okay? Okay, well, I'm assuming you're back. The spinner is... <laughs>
Okay, that's how I mean, happens when you drink too much tier one. All right, the spinner is spun three times. What's the probability it will stop on a three, a five, and a one in that order? Good gravy, look at that thing. A three, a five, and a one. Well, you tell me, what's the probability that it's gonna, that it's gonna stop on a three first? That's one out of eight, right? Okay, now you tell me, what's the probability that it's gonna stop on a five next? One out of eight, okay. What's the probability that's going to stop on a yeah, one out of eight? Okay. So the probability that you're going to roll or spin a three, then a five, then a one randomly is one times one times one, and then eight times eight times eight, which is 512. You got one out of 500 times you're going to ever do this. So very rare it's going to happen. Less than like two tenths of one percent. Well, it's 0 0.01953. Anyway, okay. Uh, so let's pause it if you need to and try B. Okay, the spinner is spun twice. What's the probability it'll stop on either three or five the first time and then stop on the two the second time? Well, okay, let's do the first time. So what's the probability it'll stop on a three or five the first time? Well, you tell me. The favorable uh, outcomes are three and five, right? That's two, right? The total outcomes are eight. So the chances that the first spin will spin on a, a three and a five are two out of eight, right? Let's go ahead and reduce that fraction to one fourth, okay? Now, what's the chance is this gonna stop on a two the second time? One out of eight, right? There's only one two there, it's gonna stop, you know, it's one out of eight chances. So the probability that it will first stop on a three and a five, one out of four, and it'll stop on a two, one out of eight, is gonna be one times one on top and four times eight on the bottom. And there we go, that's probability part two, okay? All right, good luck today. Get those answers right as much as you can and I'll see y'all next time, take care. Hey. We have 10, no, we have nine lessons after today. Nine lessons left. Awesome. Okay, see y'all.